We have breaking news tonight that brings us inside the Tulsa Police Department Citizen Academy. A former member of the class took this video as a member of TPD was speaking. Take a listen. Nothing is more dangerous to America than a liberal bias. You can hear one of the officers leading the academy making statements about the George Floyd protests in Tulsa in 2020. That officer goes on to use an ableist slur and describe those protests and the violence that came with them as, quote, beautiful. Now, someone in the class shared the video with us and asked to remain anonymous. They took it in the middle of a class last Tuesday, and in the video, you can hear one of the officers referencing the 2020 protests as beautiful and fun. Listen to this. When the anti-police riots started and they hit Tulsa, this is not Oregon or Seattle. You have here, we will smoke your And so I get to be undercover around a bunch of people at 71st and Memorial, and when they start breaking windows, it was beautiful. Because we're driving around going, here's some, come get them, SWAT boys. The officer was referencing the protest, describing driving around and, quote, spanking a bunch of unruly kids. He later says, quote, the dumb white kid that thinks playing video games with purple hair is life's goal. He's the biggest problem, end quote. TPD tells us they've started an internal investigation. We reached out to TPD and they acknowledge they have been made aware of the comments made by the Tulsa police supervisor. Chief Wendell Franklin saying in part, we take the oath as Tulsa police officers to respect the dignity and rights of every individual and any violation of that oath will be closely scrutinized and corrective action taken if appropriate. The Citizens Police Academy is a 13 week program taught by veteran TPD officers to educate the community about the police department and their protocols and procedures. We also reached out to the mayor's office for comment, but we were told that he's in New York for a conference. We'll have more on the department's response and more of this video tonight at 10 on 2 News. Jeanette Quesada is digging into that for us for tonight.